G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. Super exciting video today. I'm so happy to be able to announce this. I know Springbok's been working on this for a long time. I'm happy to announce the new Bluetooth connector for not only the MLM2 Pro, but I believe six other launch monitors. So this new connector from Springbok, it's given us the ability to Bluetooth connect our Rapsoda MLM2 Pro or our Garmin R10 and pair them with the XPUT or the webcam putting. So it's got Bluetooth for those two launch monitors. Also, it doesn't stop there because he's given the ability to connect the full swing kit, the Mevo Plus, the TrackMan, the True Golf Apogee, all of these other launch monitors, you can connect and use this connector to play GS Pro and also use the XPUT and the webcam putting with them if you want but those will connect via the old method using the OCR, which takes a, a picture of the um, AirPlay window or the, the window that you're using, if you're using Android, the EasyCast window. So with those launch monitors, it's the old method. With the MLM2 Pro or the Garmin R10, it's the new method. However, you still have the ability to use that old um, OCR connector with the MLM2 Pro if you can't get the Bluetooth working. But today, I'm showing how to connect via Bluetooth with the MLM2 Pro. I'm really excited to share this because ever since this device was launched, everyone said, why hasn't this got a direct connection with GS Pro? It's the exact same for the Garmin R10. I'm happy to say, Dwayne, he definitely pathed the way. And if you're using Dwayne's connector, make sure you support Dwayne. Today, I'm gonna to show off Springbox connector. And I do love Springbox connectors. The, the one he made for the MLM2 Pro previous to this version that used OCR, it made it so simple. And it's the exact same thing with, with this connector. It's very simple and the best thing, it all pairs and works with the brain box. So I'm happy to say the brain box is still good to go with this launch key. It's gonna launch all the applications and everything you need to play with your MLM2 Pro. So super excited to show that. And before I get started showing how I connect it, if you haven't watched Ben's uh, videos, if you haven't seen Ben's channel, he's part of the Facebook group, he's part of the community, but he started his own YouTube channel. It's called Triple Bogey Golf. I'll link it in the description. If you haven't watched his channel, definitely check it out because if you want to get webcam putting working correctly, if you want to get the most out of all these connectors, especially webcam putting, he does an excellent video explaining how to get webcam putting working. So check out his channel, subscribe to his channel. When you've got someone like Ben using it day in, day out, and he does use this MLM2 Pro setup with webcam putting day in, day out, he has it dialed. I mean, he has got it dialed in. I've got the luxury of having access to my Unicore Eye Mini. So I'm not using this day in, day out. I'm using this maybe once or twice a month. Realistically, if you want to know how to get the most out of this connector and webcam putting, you wanna know how to set webcam putting up, trust me, it makes a massive difference having the ability to use webcam putting in GS Pro. If you want to know how to get that set up, check out Triple Bogey Golf's channel. I'll link it in the description. Okay, today, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how to get this working. What you're seeing now is my desktop. I'm gonna show you how to get this working. So first off, you need to navigate to the link in the description and download the file to actually get this connector on your computer. So once you've done that, you will have the file, but it will be in an extracted version. So I'm gonna show you that now. I'm gonna to go to my downloads. You've got your file in a compressed zipped folder. So that's what you'll see. What you have to do is you have to double click on this folder, double click on the application, and it will say extract or extract all. Just hit the extract all button. And then what that's gonna do is gonna pop up with a new window and then you can drag that file, the extracted file onto your desktop. And that's exactly what I've done. So once you've done that, you will have an extracted file on your desktop with all the information in there. Now, Ben gives a, a really good breakdown. If you've got webcam putting already set up, check out his video, but you can actually co copy some of these config files from your old connector folder into your new connector folder, and then it will all work seamlessly. You'll have all your old settings. So then you don't have to set up all your settings again using the, the new connector. So you can, you can save yourself a bit of time, but if you've set it up once or twice, you know how to do it. 
What you can do as well is you want to leave all of these applications and all of this, this data, you want to leave it in the original folder. Don't drag and drop these around and put them onto your desktop. But what you can do is you can right click on the actual application, you can go show more options, and then you can go create shortcut. And what that will do is it will put a shortcut of the application onto your desktop so then you can find it a lot easier. Okay, so this is what the connector looks like when you open it up. You've got all your settings up in the top, um, top window here. So I'm gonna click on settings, that little cog icon. What you can see here is you've got GS Pro as the application, and then if you want the actual application to pop up when you go, um, when you open up this connector, just follow the bouncing ball and browse um, your computer where you've saved GS Pro. So for me, it's on my C drive. I go to GS Pro, Core, GSP, and then that's the application there, GS Pro. So I can open that. And now that that's saved in that window, whenever I open the MLM2 Pro shortcut, whenever I click on that, it will open GS Pro. You've got up here the launch monitor. So this is where you can actually see all of the different launch monitors. So like I said, you've got the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro you can open in the old method using the OCR. I'm gonna use the new method, the Bluetooth method, because for me, being able to Bluetooth, it just, it makes such a big difference connecting your MLM2 Pro up to this. Now, I will say you don't have to go into your settings on your Windows and connect it and pair it like you usually do a normal Bluetooth device. Don't do that. You do not have to do that. I haven't done that. So in my Bluetooth settings, there is no MLM2 Pro. If you do have it in your Bluetooth settings, in your Windows settings, delete it out because you don't need it in there for this to work. Like I said, you've got the Garmin R10 Bluetooth, full swing kit, Mevo Plus, Trackman, True Golf Apogee. You do have other launch monitors you can connect using this method. However, the only two that are gonna Bluetooth as of right now are the MLM2 Pro and the Garmin R10. So this is where you're gonna select which method you want to do for the Bluetooth settings. With the R10, because you do actually pair it to your computer, you've got all your Bluetooth settings down below that you can see there. Okay, so top right hand corner, we've got default OCR device. I'm not um, using this like I said, but this is like the old, um, if you were using your iPad or your iPhone or Android, this is where you would select that and then that's gonna save all of those um, ROIs, those region of interests. That's gonna save all that, depending on what device you're using. Auto, store, auto start all apps. This is what you wanna tick yes, if you want your shortcut to launch everything for you, and then you don't need to go in and individually start all these applications, you want to have auto start all apps um, as yes. We'll save that. It will come up with an alert saying settings have been saved close the connector and reopen it for those changes to take effect. We'll go okay, and then we can close out of that window. Okay, what else have we got? Up the top, we've got your putting settings. So if you're gonna use a putting launch monitor like the x -Putt or a web camera, this is where you would select which one you wanna use. And then also you've got all your config settings down below to get that working. You can select which camera it's gonna be based on. So again, all of this will auto open when you select the uh, shortcut if you want it to. If you want to know more about webcam putting, check out Ben's video. He really makes it simple and he explains how he gets it working and he has got it dialed. Okay, for the purpose of today's video, I'm not gonna use um, an X part. I do love my X part, but I have it set up in my other room and I am using it. So when I do my, blue, when I do my Garmin R10 video on this, I will get my X part and I'll get it all connected just to show you that it works. Okay, that is it. So once you've done that, you don't need to connect your, your um, MLM2 Pro up using the Bluetooth settings. You can see it's not there. I've got this um, blue HID, that's my control box, and I do have my Garmin R10. The reason I'm not using the Garmin R10 in this video is because I actually loaned it to Springbok so he could get this all working. So as soon as he sends the Garmin R10 back when he's happy that it's all working, I will get uh, a video showing the Garmin R10 working with all of this. Okay, the cool thing now is I can get my brain box. I do have my MLM2 Pro turned on. I can get my brain box. Let me show this. If you haven't checked out these, these brain boxes, definitely check them out. You can get the Joe Legowski Golf version and it's just fantastic. Let's hit this launch button. 
we'll hit that. I'll put you guys onto the different screen so you can see it all work in the background. Um, it will auto open GS Pro. It will auto open the application. So there's the connector application running there. It's authenticating, the launch monitor is connected. And as soon as GS Pro's open API connector opens, you'll see that it'll tick over to connected and you get the green line at the top of the connection box. So from the uh, brain box, if you're interested in these, I'll leave a link in the description. These are fantastic. Definitely check these out. Um, but from the brain box, I have now turned on everything. And if you watch this, I will go into the practice range, we'll go to the driving range, and I am straight into hitting golf shots. And let's hit a shot. The first shot we've hit with the Bluetooth connector. It works. It's in GS Pro. I mean, everything works. That's fantastic. Let's hit another shot. It, there is still a slight delay. So there is still a slight, I'd say one or, two, or probably two second delay um, from when you hit. So we'll hit a shot. So it's about a two or three second delay, but the shot goes off into the GS Pro world. Everything works. And again, if you had an X part, that would auto launch as well. So from the one button that you've hit on the brain box, that launch button, it opens up all the applications for you. And yeah, it's, it's just so easy. It makes it so much easier. You do still need, I will say this as well, you actually do still need to verify with the um, application, the uh, Awesome Golf. So it still connects through Awesome Golf. So you have to go into the application every 24 hours, I believe, and authenticate the um, Awesome Golf application. So, so if you're gonna do this multiple times a day, you can quick launch it, it'll all work. If you are doing it after say a few days of not using it, you will need to pair it to your iPad, to your uh, phone, whatever it is, and you're gonna need to authenticate that license and then it'll all work. So you still need to do that step, but it's probably good you do that anyway, because you've got to line the thing up. You've got to get it lined up correctly. To line it up correctly, while I'm speaking about that, I use these stands from uh, Claire. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to get your MLM2 Pro lined up easily and correctly using a laser, these stands are fantastic. I have got a video on these. Uh, check the link in the description. You will still need to use RPT balls as well. If you don't use RPT balls, you're gonna get some funky ball flights. It's not gonna be correct. So that's why use RPT balls, or like I do, I'm using these uh, Rapsodo ball dots. You can find these at rapsodoballdots.com. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm testing out some tailor-made balls at the moment. So I use a Pro V1. I'm trying the TP5X just to see what it's like. But um, yeah, Rapsodo ball dots, if you want to save money on buying, you know, the original RPT balls. Here in Australia, it's like $170 for a box of those balls. So using these dots has saved me a lot of money. And also I can use whatever ball I want. Okay guys, so that is the video. Like I said, MLM2 Pro, we now have a Bluetooth connection. And also you've got a Bluetooth connection for the R10 and X putt and the webcam putting. So Awesome stuff. I love seeing Springbok expand on this connector. If you are going to use this connector, just donate a few dollars to the guy. He's put so much effort in. I've been talking to him for months about this. He has put so much effort into making these connectors for people. And he always gets messages from random people saying, hey, can you build a connector for X launch monitor? What he's done is he's combined them all into this one connector. So it's, it's really one connector to rule them all. This is just the beginning. I know he's got some really cool stuff coming. Like I said, if you wanna check out his website, Cascadia 3D Printing, he's got the uh, brain box on there. If you're gonna get one, get the Joe Legowski Golf Edition. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.